Hi guys! <laughs> Today's video is really, really exciting because we are going to be using the brand new L'Oreal Professional Steam Pod, but not just the regular Steam Pod, the one that they made with Barbie. This is a new collaboration with Barbie and L'Oreal Professional, and their Steam Pod has taken on this super fun, like electric pink Barbie packaging, and it is absolutely adorable. I'm gonna demonstrate this for you guys today, show you how I get super sleek hair with it. I've used it a few times and I do really like this. And this whole product in general is really, really cool. It basically uses like this steam technology and it's really interesting. I'm gonna go, get, I'm gonna get into it. But mainly what drew my attention to this product is the fact that they collabed with Barbie. I don't know anything that's more nostalgic to my childhood than freaking Barbie. I had every Barbie under the sun, every Barbie house under the sun. That is all I ever asked for during Christmas. My whole Christmas list was like Barbie dream house, Barbie plane, Barbie boat, Barbie Malibu, I, like <laughs> I had it all. Birthdays, Christmases, all dedicated to Barbie. So I wanted to jump at the opportunity to try this. I ended up loving it. I wanna show you guys how it works because it is just so interesting. And so with that being said, I do wanna mention that this video is kindly sponsored by hair.com, which is where you can get this product, by the way. But I would have never done this video if I didn't really like the product. I always try something out for a little while before I commit to a sponsorship, just in case I don't like it. I always wanna be honest, so that's super important to me, which is why I do that. And so yeah, let's dive in, cause uh, Need some TLC. I already have my um, my heat protectant in my hair, by the way. I added it before I blow dried my hair, and I just I just blow dried my hair like really crazy, as you can probably tell. Okay, so I'm gonna section off my hair in a second, but I actually want to show you how this works really quick and show you the difference, like without the steam and comb technology. Because basically, this isn't your typical flat iron, and like I said, they use this thing called steam technology, and basically it comes with this little cartridge right here. I'm gonna explain this in like Kathleen terms. And before you attach it, you just fill it up with water. Mine is full, but I'll show you in like a little demo how you do it. The steam pod comes with this cute little pink bottle, and you just take off the flap right here, fill it up with water, close it up, and then this is what gives it that steam technology while you're flat ironing your hair, which they say is like infusing water molecules into your hair without actually getting getting your hair wet. So I don't want that to scare you, your hair doesn't get wet or anything like that. You have to use this on dry hair in fact, like most flat irons. But the steam doesn't dampen the hair or anything like that. In fact, it makes it like really shiny and just so smooth and a huge factor in controlling frizz when it comes to this product. Like that steam really does, especially for me that I have very frizzy hair, it really tames it a bit. And then the other cool thing is that it comes with this little comb right here that you just slide on right here and this really helps with like the smoothness with just like the way it distributes the heat this little comb is super vital it's awesome and so with that you can achieve like two times faster and two times smoother results and and up to 91% less breakage over time which is honestly what sold me on this product I've just split my hair into two sections I normally always start from the back like from the bottom and work my way up but I want to show you guys the difference of what the steam pot does if I remove the comb and the cartridge that holds the water. So without those two products, it's just a regular old flat iron, which it still works, it's still really good. Also, by the way, you can do multiple different hairstyles with this. Because it's like rounded, it really helps with like those curls and those different hairstyles. Also, the steam pot has little arrows pointing down, so when you're using like the steam technology and the comb, you wanna make sure that you are always like going in the direction of the arrows. And if you're left-handed like me, you're like, what, oh, that's so, you just turn it this way and the arrows are still pointing down. Okay, so I'm gonna turn mine on and it kind of makes a little bit of a noise because of that steam technology, but I'm gonna keep mine on 350 degrees. That is the lowest temperature and I honestly feel like I don't need to go above that. I've tried the other two temperatures and it makes my hair like extra, extra straight and sleek, but I feel like even on the lowest setting, it still gets the job done, so let me show you guys. Okay, so let me quickly show you how it looks without the comb and the steam on this side and then I'll pop on the comb, throw on the steam and do this side so we can see the difference. So I'm curious to know, did you guys play with Barbies often as a kid? because I, like I said, I couldn't get enough of it. I have one of the best Christmas memories um, that actually has to do with Barbie, so I thought I'd tell you guys the story. So, even without the steam, that's pretty freaking good. My hair is pretty uh, frizzy. So, when I was younger, I really, really, really wanted the Barbie dream house so bad, guys. I was like 
eight years old and that's literally all I talked about I was like I don't want anything else for Christmas I just want this Barbie dream house I don't think you understand like I need this in my life and on that Christmas that I asked for it I was sleeping in bed with my sister and I needed to pee in the middle of the night and for some reason I had asked my sister to go with me to the bathroom like so that she can come with me so that I can pee I guess I was scared to like walk down the hallway and pee myself I don't know but when I walked down the hallway into my bathroom and I just got a glimpse of the living room where all of the toys were or like the, you know the Christmas tree and all the stuff under the tree and everything was already wrapped and done and it was the first time I had seen it because obviously you know when you're a kid your parents take out all the gifts in the middle of the night because you believe in Santa Claus so there's never any gifts under the tree up until that moment so as I'm walking to the bathroom and I look under like by the tree I see this giant freaking box with my name across it. I will literally never forget it. My mom like put my name across the box really big. Like she cut out my name, like a K-A, whatever, like little paper cutouts, which she had never ever done before. And I remember just like screeching, screeching in the middle of the hallway on my way to the bathroom. I was like, <gasps> I flipped out, I knew it. I was like, I know what's in that box. I could not sleep, okay? When I tell you I could not sleep for the rest of the night, it was not happening. It honestly was the best Christmas ever. When I woke up the next morning, oh my gosh, it's like truly, till this day, best Christmas of my life. And I played with that Barbie dream house to death. I was 13 years old and I was still playing with Barbies, guys. That's right. But anyway, I thought I'd mention that story. So really quickly, I just threw on the comb and I put the little like cartridge back in. I don't even know, I forget, I don't know what this is called. So looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna show you the results with the steam pod. This side of my hair, I feel like is a little bit frizzier. Like this side of my head, I don't know. I actually wanna do my hair on New Year's Eve with this product and do like the waves, you know, like do those little waves. And since it's like so shiny and smooth, I should probably put my hair up. <laughs> I feel like this is the perfect product to make those like Hollywood glam waves. Every time I lift my arms up, I'm like, they're staring at my armpits. I don't know why, I don't know why. It's like no one's looking at your armpits, relax. Anyway, I would really, really love to know what your guys' like most memorable Christmas story is. Or birthday, because I know a lot of us don't celebrate Christmas, but like a special birthday or something from your childhood, I really want to know. You can kind of see, oh my God, do not look at my gray hairs. I have so many. This year has been so rough. I got like 87 new ganas. But you guys can kind of see the steam. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's very, very minimal. It's nothing that's like steaming your face up. It doesn't get your hair wet. It's just like a minimal little steam. And also, since I have like kind of puffy, frizzy, curly hair, I don't have curly hair, but you know. I find that it does get really, really close to your roots. This is gonna be interesting because I've never done my hair from like front to back. <laughs> but I really just wanted to show you the difference. Dude, a lot of the times when I go like this with my flat iron, I have to pass it like 17 times. But I feel like I only need to do this once. I'm doing it twice, but I feel like I don't need to. I did my hair with this the other day and my mom was like, your hair is very straight. Like very, very, very straight. And then asked me what plancha I used. By the way, that noise is just the steam pot, like the noise that it's making, it's not like, my hair or anything just a big layer okay do you guys see the difference and i'm not talking about like the straightness because i know that this one is a little bit less straight maybe i passed it a little bit more on this side but it's not about that it's not about that it's the frizziness and the shininess do you guys see how much shinier i'm not sure it comes out on camera but in person like this hair right here is so much shinier than this hair right here. And all I did was add like heat protectant. I didn't add a shine spray or anything like that. I can't explain it. It's something that you would have to see for yourself. Like my hair almost feels like butter. Butter with this steam comb technology. Butter. It really, really did surprise me the first time I used it. I was like, sure, send me the product. Let me see if I like it without any high hopes or anything like that. And I truly, truly loved how sleek it made my hair, I had to share it with you guys. And plus, I love me some Barbie. Oh my gosh, how are we gonna do this? I am a mess. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's get some like Hollywood waves going. Let's see how that looks. I just wanna see. I haven't done it with the, with the steam pot yet. Let me see how it looks if we get a little wave action. I'm actually having a great time here <laughs> doing this with you guys. I'm in a really good mood and I haven't been in a while. 
which I mean, I told you guys in my mukbang video, that's a whole other video. Oh, I'm doing waves, hold on. Oh, that's another really amazing thing about this product. I was gonna say, because my hair is pretty freaking long. Okay, I need to work on that. I'm not very good at these waves. I did my hair the other day and my hair is pretty long and it didn't even waste half of the cartridge. I could have still done my hair like two more times without refilling it. Okay, so this part might feel a little boring, so let's speed it up. Do you guys remember the Barbie Beach bungalow house? That was the best house. I loved my Barbie dream house, don't get me wrong, but the Barbie Beach bungalow? Dude, it was so cool and it was so easy to travel with. I used to take it to like my cousin's house all the time. The dream house, my mom was not letting me take that, that anywhere. <laughs> like absolutely anywhere. I also had, I know I seem like such a little spoiled Barbie kid. I really wasn't, I just, it's just all I asked for at Christmas. But I also had the little airplane. It was like a pink airplane and you could record yourself on like the over speakers. Like if you're the captain, oh my gosh, it was freaking awesome. I wonder if they still make something similar. Don't judge me. Dude, so smooth. I swear I see a difference with that steam. I swear it. Okay, but like I said, let's speed it up. Also, by the way, I'll speed it up in a second. If you want to do the back of your hair, even though they have like these little arrows here, it is super easy. You just like grab and pull down. I know that, that seems like self-explanatory, 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 but just in case. <laughs> Stop looking at my armpits. Also, I really do feel, I swear, that I do my hair faster with this flat iron. Like, it's like a pass and a half. And that's it, I move on to the next strand. And I don't find that to be the case with so many other flat irons I use. It's very impressive. Okay, <clears throat> I'm done. And I swear that it usually takes me like an hour to do my hair every time. And I did it in like 29 minutes. And I feel like my hair is so incredibly straight. It's like straight, straight, straight. But I honestly really fell in love with the results. I, I have Barbie hair right now. I'm not blonde, but I feel like Barbie. And yeah, like I mentioned earlier, you can do so many different hairstyles with this. You don't just have to straighten your hair. You can do curls, waves, super versatile, gives you shiny, fast results with less breakage over time, which is probably the most important thing. And I did my hair on the lowest like heat setting and I feel like I made it spin straight. Let me know what you think. And also, if you want me to try out different hair products with you guys, like I did today, like no matter what it is, if you're interested in a specific hair product you want me to try out or anything you want me to try, that's like not makeup related, leave it in the comments below and I will do that. We are posting videos in 2022, my friend. We are leaving sadness in 2021. <laughs> But anyway guys, that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below letting me know what you wanna see from me next. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh no. No, no, no. I look like grandma. Hi kids. Come tell your grandma childhood stories. Oh my gosh.